<śmiech> Kluska. Bonjour. Bonjour. So today I want to touch a very popular topic. Wasting less. We can say that I'm a true waster. That's why I think I'm a good person to take the topic of wasting on a workshop today and in upcoming months. I have eating disorders that sometimes push me to overeat and yes there is a tight link between wasting and overeating at least in my world because there is no fun in overeating healthy stuff so imagine you do your groceries your fridge is full of healthy vegetables fruits basically healthy stuff to keep you going for a week then Suddenly, something triggers you. You go downstairs to your 7-Eleven, you buy chocolate, cookies and coke. You go up, you eat it, you feel resentful, but then the next day you repeat it. And that lasts, let's say for a week. So in the meantime, healthy groceries that you had in your fridge, they rot. So you throw them out and that's where overeating and wasting in my life connects. So why can't you overeat carrots? Yes, I know the basics, food addiction. It's a compulsive consumption of high fat and high sugar foods which markedly activate the reward system in humans and other animals despite adverse consequences so yes mindlessly overeating unhealthy stuff it's a very big part of my life up until mid 2019 for me first step in wasting less was getting more mindful about the food that I have so in 2019 I started to look more into wasting less as I wrote my master thesis I realized how little I knew about this topic and as you probably guessed my master thesis partially treated about topics connected to wasting less first thing that we have here is organic current mesh produce pack for shopping, storing and for life. Two years ago, fruit and vegetables bags were something new, at least in Poland. I still have them, way much more of them and as you can see I try to use them. Fun fact! Actually, it's more interesting than fun is that plastic bags were invented to save the planet, not so much to pollute them. In 1959, Swedish engineer created alternative to paper bags, which back then were considered to highly pollute the planet. I know, that aged really badly. Son of Ten told the BBC to my dad, the idea that people would simply throw this away would be bizarre. He always carried a plastic bag in his pocket, folded up. What we are all being encouraged to do today, which is to take your bags back to the shop, he was doing back in the 70s, just naturally, because, well, why wouldn't you? So apparently a zero waste initiative, it's, it's a really young one. People actually started to hear about it somewhere around 2008. Zero waste was a term used to describe manufacturing and municipal waste management practices. And Dad Johnson, a French American, decided to apply it to her household of four. She started sharing her journey through the popular blog Zero Waste Home. So yeah, she wrote a book 
It's called Zero Waste Home, the ultimate guide to simplifying your life by reducing your waste. Yes, I bought the book today. I am about to learn why not do it from the pioneer herself. Huh? So in Poland, we happen to have amazing people who want to share their knowledge about wasting less. And one of them is Rivka from Szapasztywniary. I've learned many things from her and sometimes the simplicity and novelty of her observations leave me in absolute awe. Tell me, are you happy when you buy yourself something new and shiny? Are you happy at all when you finish it? So I used to have this problem with makeup cosmetics because they all look so shiny and pretty and new. So I was buying more, more eyeshadows, more lipsticks, even though I do not wear lipstick, but hey, they just look so pretty. And somewhere in between why do I buy it and what do I need it for was lost. And what I want to leave you with I want you to... I feel like a coach now. What I want to leave you with... I, I want you to look around yourself. Appreciate the things that you have. I should not be joking about it. I actually wrote it down and it sounds like that. That's... When I read it now, it just sounds ridiculously stupid. The message behind this video is that we all have enough and 80% of the time you just don't need the junk that you want to buy. I'm, I'm working on wasting less, it's, it's not pretty and it's gonna be a part of, of this journey that I'm taking here. I really hate when people on YouTube say I'm inviting you to my journey now I said that too, so... <sighs> I think goofy videos are more my style. <laughs> no worries, the next one gonna be just me being dumb, so we're gonna be back to original content. Thank you.